So the microcosm from hologram is an effects pedal with all sorts of granular algorithms, delays, and looping capabilities. It works great for processing sounds from VCV rec, for example, but it has also a MIDI input that allows us to control everything. So we can use VCV rec to modulate everything, even change the algorithms. So basically it becomes another module we can use. Let's start with some sounds. Here I have in VCV the stochastic sequencer and it's sequencing um, rings. So we sound like this. Nothing fancy. I will send this to the microcosm. In my case, it's inputs or outputs three and four. Now this is going to my interface and then into the microcosm. The microcosm has a TRS quarter inch input and two TS outputs. So they go back to my interface and VCV rec and they will come out in my case, or in this case from outputs one and two. So now we get rings through microcosm back into VCV rec and we can start introducing some wet signal. So now this is 100% wet from microcosm. So this is one of the algorithms, it's called a mosaic, and it will play overlapping loops of the signal in normal and double speed, so an octave up. We can change the number of loops with the activity control. complexity to the sound. It's and again, thanks to the MIDI input, we can also modulate this. So I have here random smooth voltage, you can see it here on the scope, and I can use it to control the activity. Now the activity control is CC number six. There's a full list in the manual, you can see it here, I hope. Um, of the controls and the respective CC numbers. So let's send this, this uh, random smooth voltage to CC number six with the CV to CC module in VCV rec. And this will change or modulate randomly the number of loops through the activity control. The same we can do with the filter. There's a Lopez filter at the end of the chain. So we can modulate also this again with random smooth voltage. I have here this uh, um, parameter is CC number eight. Okay, so here in VCV we have marbles from mutable instruments. This is sequencing two basal oscillators from Vult. Nothing special, it will sound like this. I will already send it to the microcosm. This is the dry signal. And in this case, I'm in the warp algorithm, which is a delay with pitch shifted taps. So this is how it will sound like with some microcosm magic. Very nice. Now the microcosm has a hold function that will hold the segment of the sound in a buffer and will repeat it. I can activate it by pressing this switch here. 
and this will also be affected by the time knob, so the length of playback will change according to the time settings. So first of all, let's use sample and hold from VCV rack to control the hold function, and this will be CC number 48, and I hope you can see the lights here are changing whenever it's being held. Now let's also modulate the time with sample and hold, and this will be CC number 10. And another interesting feature the microcosm has is a reverse function by hitting this, um, pushing this encoder. Now everything will move in reverse. And of course, also this we can control from within VCV reg. This will be CC number 47. And again, I hope you can see the lights here are moving. So this is the dry signal. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing amazing, but this is from Microcosm with some modulation. Let's add a nice sequence to it. Hopefully it will be nice. I have here Interzone going through some delay and reverb. Let's take the cut of it down. So here I have some drums, I have the gate sequencer sequencing deep from Hora, which is our bass drums, the snare module from SV Modular, and also hi-hats from Hora, it will sound like this. This is the dry signal again going through Microcosm, and now in this case I have Microcosm set to a glitch algorithm, so let's bring the mix up. <laughs> so first of all, we can sync Microcosm with VCV by using a clock resolution of 24 ppqn, like I have it here. I have a clock multiplied by 24 going to the clock input of the CV to MIDI module, and this will automatically sync the Microcosm. Very nice, so now it will be synced with the clock, and with the activity control we can add variation to the glitch. And with the repeats, we can change how often it will glitch. Something like this. So let's really modulate those with sample and hold, again from VCV rec. This will be CC number 6 and also number 11. Sometimes we'll have more glitch, sometimes less. We can also change the reverb. Change also the reverb time. A bit longer or a bit shorter. Maybe shorter is nicer. Of course, also this we can modulate, this will be CC number 12. So now it will add also some reverb here and there. And we can also modulate the mix and get those glitches only at certain points.
So I have here a clock division of eight, and I will send this to CC number nine. And this will open the mix according to this clock division. something nice, nice and glitchy. Oh yeah. Let's add a nice uh, 303 type bass. I have here the modular sequencer sequencing the even VCO from Bifaco. And the bass module from Outin is adding this 303 style sound, going again through some delay and reverb. So the microcosm is also a looper and it can be quite fun to start and stop the recording randomly within VCV Rack. So here I have a sort of a generative sequence with sample and hold sequencing the wave oscillator. I will already send it to the microcosm. This is how it will sound like dry. And now I can record and loop it manually. Start the recording, stop it. You can hear the loop. But I can also let VCV do it randomly. So here I have constant voltage, just a offset going to a switch. And I have a slower trigger running the switch. So I can use the first output to trigger the recording, which will be CC number 28. And the third output to trigger the recording playback. So you can hear now it's recording and playing back randomly a new loop. And I can change the playback speed of the loop, for example, twice as quick. Also an octave up. Octave down. It will always like this randomly record and play back a new loop. You can also, of course, granulize the sound. Also, have here the haze algorithm. So as I mentioned before, it's also possible to change algorithms with program changes from VCV Rack. So here I have four voices, four FM operators, um, each is playing a different note, and they are being triggered by the Hazumi sequencer, as you can see here. This is how it will sound like. For now, it's only the dry signal. Nothing special. And I'm already syncing Microcosm with a clock from VCV Rack. So again, it's 24 PPQN. I'm sending a clock multiplied by 24. And I have also a sequence ready to change between the algorithms. And for this, we will need the MIDI and program change module from 23 volts. 
this will allow us uh, allow us to send um, program changes so for example if I want to send program change number 15 I just select 15 and hit send and now you can see the algorithm changed I can change it even more and again we have a different algorithm for now let's bring it back and I will use the sequencer to select between the algorithms and the same trigger that the sequencer is receiving I will use to send this actually to the microcosm so as you can see here the algorithm is changing from VCV rec of course you can do this also randomly if you wish let's get some wet signal here Let's add a few more voices. I have here basal as a sort of a bass. atmospheric hiats from horror through a chronoblock too. And a bass drum from Nock. And that was it that was using microcosm with vcvrec again you can modulate everything you can change the algorithms you can have lots and lots of fun everything is working perfectly well through midi and um, i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and cheers